probably the most innocent uh, and harmless animated movie that I've seen in quite a while so there's that definitely uh, anyways let's get home let's review this thing and yeah so being the loyal AMC A-list member that I am uh, I went and I had a double feature at AMC and of course the, very, the first movie Captive State did not go well at all for me but then I did check out Wonder Park which actually just it relaxed me for the night it just it, 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 it calmed me from how bad captive state was but uh yeah i did see wonderland uh or is it called wonderland or wonder park i'm gonna call it wonderland i yeah because the the, the park it's confusing because the park in the movie is called wonder park but i think the movie's called wonderland and it just doesn't make sense I don't know. But anyways, I did see this movie in 3D, so I'll be giving my thoughts about the 3D after I review the movie, the actual movie itself. So uh, anyway, so let's get to a little bit about the story about the movie. So basically in Wonderland, we got a very imaginative uh, girl named June, uh, who with her mom, she created this imaginary place named Wonder Park. And while later on, something happened which caused her to move past Wonder Park. And while somehow it appears that, you know, she just appears in Wonder Park. And uh, she must help, you know, stop this big cloud of darkness from overtaking the park and overtaking the animals in this park as well. And uh, it's a fun adventure. It really is. Uh, I won't lie with you guys. Uh, you know, I just really had a lot of fun with this movie. Uh, this movie is a bit on the generic side for what the story is, um, you know, on, you know, on the story standpoint. But uh, for what the story is representing in the movie... What they did here was actually pretty clever. Now, I'm going to try to go into this without giving out any spoilers or, you know, specific details in case you guys do want to go watch this movie. Um, the movie, uh, so, you know, first of all, the movie just brings together a bunch of fun characters that you just get to know uh, very little of. But, you know, for the roles that they have in the movie, it doesn't really matter. And they're fun characters. And surprisingly, they're not annoying characters either, which, uh, surprise, uh, it's it's actually quite surprising because a lot of characters in animated movies uh, seem to get on your nerves quite a bit, especially in a movie like Wonder Park. You would think that the animals would get on your nerves, but that's not the point here. The characters are actually they're they're actually kind of fun they're, and they're charming. Um, now, uh, you know, the whole idea about the amusement park getting taken over seems like a fun idea, and it really is. Now, and the movie is actually quite dark as well. Not exactly the movie itself, rather, again, what the movie is representing. Uh, the movie deals with a, you know, with surprisingly thematic elements that work very well with the story. And the way these thematic messages are conveyed through the story and the animation is also quite genius, which I see why they were going there. Uh, but the way they convey the message it's just in the way that it's just being hidden through the animation and the storytelling of the animation and uh, j just overall, just what the movie is about. Uh, that makes any sense. I feel like I kind of lost you guys there. But it's basically almost what Pixar kind of does. Like they try to hide these uh, thematic messages through their movies, through their animated movies. And in the end, when you walk out of the movie, you're like, well, I felt something. I felt quite emotional towards the movie, towards the end of the movie. And that's something that's something that Wonderland kind of does. Uh, it, it doesn't exactly do it to the point where Pixar does it, but, uh, you know, it does it pretty well. It, 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 it actually kind of, it's pretty effective. Um, and, you know, perhaps the writing isn't the best. It's actually kind of silly. But I actually didn't mind it really. The movie is supposed to set up this uh, TV series that will happen later on this year on Nickelodeon. So this is basically a pilot episode that was somehow, you know, just it just somehow got its way to theaters. And I actually see why. But, uh, you know, the quality ain't all that bad. Uh, the animation is actually really good. And look, I know we're spoiled to uh, the animation that Disney has provided with us, you know, Disney and Pixar, uh, which obviously just 
Disney and Pixar just gives us some of the best, no, they give us the best animation in the industry right now. But, uh, you know, for what, for what Wonder Park is, you know, a smaller, uh, you know, animated film made by a smaller, well, not small studio, it's made by Nickelodeon and Paramount. But, uh, you know, with this movie not being a Disney movie and on its own, the animation is actually quite beautiful and it's also just very detailed and colorful and I'm sure that this is a movie that would just look stunning on 4k but um yeah the animation is just so damn good in this movie uh the director of this movie actually got fired I believe when production for this movie was starting uh he got you know fired for uh I, I guess he was uh, sexually harassing people in the uh, I don't know and I'm, and I'm just reading off the internet, and a lot of people are saying that he got fired for that very reason. Um, so, yeah, I believe that this movie doesn't even have a director to begin with, especially since the director was not credited at the end. So, I got reason to believe that there was no director attached to this movie. And you could actually feel that, because the movie is actually kind of a tonal mess. And uh, there are bits in the story where it seems like it has a hard time getting around it, but eventually, you know, it does get around it. Um, and there are a lot of dumb situations in the movie that would typically feel out of place for a movie like uh, Wonderland, you know, trying to keep the emotional storyline, but uh, they're trying to do all these cartoonish stuff. But in the end, you know, it's pretty much a cartoon pilot. So uh, it's, uh, it's very much acceptable for what it is. Um, the movie feels very simple, and I guess, you know, it's for its own good. Uh, this movie did not need to be overcomplicated or anything. Uh, and again, they are making a cartoon on this later this year. For, so, for this to be the movie to set up a TV series, it's, you know, it, it's actually pretty good. And on its own as a movie, it's an okay movie. The movie is uh, completely innocent and it's completely harmless and I had a lot of fun watching this movie. Uh, I would recommend uh, renting this movie um, on Redbox or on Netflix and with that being said, I'm going to give Wonderland a C+. And by the way, so the 3D in this movie is actually, it's worth your money, I'd say. Uh, there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of pop-out scenes. There's this one scene where they're floating through this, uh, you know, no gravity land or whatever it's called. And uh, the characters are popping right at you. The, the objects are popping out right at you. And uh, it really works. This movie really works for 3D. So if you guys do some, you know, if you guys do end up watching this movie in theaters, uh, and if you guys do pay for the 3D ticket, you know, you're not going to regret it. You're going to have a fun time watching this movie in 3D. So, uh, yeah, overall, Wonder Park, cute movie. I liked it. So, anyways, have you guys seen this movie? Have you guys seen it? What do you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.